Welcome back. The Senate is up for grabs as we head into tomorrow's midterms, and there are four races that could determine the balance of power. Let's bring in David Bossy, 2016 Trump deputy campaign manager. David, good to see you. Um, these, these big four I'm excited about. I want to go through them pretty quickly here. We've got Laxalt in Nevada. It looks like he's, he's looking pretty good, and that's an, that's an impressive job he's done. What do you think of Adam Laxalt? Uh, Adam Laxalt's a tremendous candidate uh, at a tremendous time in America. We need him. He is going to win. Uh, I just did a poll here a couple of days ago. Mm. Uh, Cortez Masto is topping out at about 45, and uh, Adam Laxalt's going to win this race, and it's going to give us the majority in the United States Senate. That's amazing. Another closer one, though, uh, nearby, uh, but a tighter race, Arizona, Masters versus Kelly. Um, Blake Masters and Mark Kelly really, really tight there. Um, how do you think this one plays out? A couple of things. One is uh, Lombardo uh, is running for governor in, in, in Nevada, and he helps uh, Adam Laxalt get across the finish line as well because he's finishing even further ahead of Sisolak, the, the current Democrat governor. Indeed. And I, the reason I bring that up is the same thing dynamic is happening in Arizona. You yeah. see, uh, Carrie Lake is outperforming the Republicans on the rest of the ballot. She is so far ahead. But what that does is it helps drag others across, meaning not to, I don't mean drag, but it helps them across the finish line. And Blake yeah. Masters is going to benefit from that. He's going to beat Mark Kelly on election day. Yeah, it, it seems that way because I can't see a lot of people voting for Carrie Lake and Mark Kelly. I just it's I can't exactly imagine right. that happening. Um, it, it, that is not a yeah. ticket splitting yeah. state or two candidates that you could do that with. And by the way, if I could just go back to uh, Nevada, just for a split second, the early vote is uh, already in and, and, and um, finished there, early voting. Uh, we are very, much further ahead than we were yeah. in 18 or 20 today. So we're in much better position in Nevada. Nevada's looking great. Uh, get it, the, the, the tightest ones here at the end, Georgia and Herschel Walker and Raphael Warnock. Got 15 seconds on this one. What do you think? Again, Herschel Walker, a tremendous candidate, going to win it on his own. But Governor Kemp beating Stacey Abrams by such a large margin. He's up it by three points yeah. to seven points. The greater his victory, the more certain Herschel Walker is to get above 50. Okay, yeah. And then uh, finally, Don Boldick uh, versus Hassan in uh, New Hampshire. That's a very interesting race. Yeah, that's a real sleeper. It came on really late. Everybody assumed... Uh, that the Democrats knew what they were doing in supporting Don Bulldog in, 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 in raising his name recognition right. across the state when they shouldn't have been. But Maggie Hassan is paying for the sins of the Biden administration. The people of New Hampshire who are about to pay exorbitant fees for home heating fuel, right, right. have the same inflation the rest of us yep. have, have this home heating fuel problem. Don Bulldog could win, and that, that's a huge victory. Huge upset if he does. And up there, you've got Sununu as the governor, who's in a huge lead as well. That could impact it as well. Okay. David, yeah, yeah. David Bossier, thank you so much. We appreciate you coming on. Hey, thanks, sir. Thanks for having me. All right.